and gentlemen, in the latter part of the Cretaceous period, Dromaeosaurids ruled the land using their speed, agility, and vicious hunting techniques. Today, we invite the bravest among you to encounter the mightiest theropod of 75 million years ago, the Velociraptor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Raptor Encounter. My name's Andy. I'm a dinosaur handler here at Jurassic World. Now, this kind of training is an integral part of our Velociraptor program. It allows us to not only study the dinosaurs, but also their behavior in proximity to humans. Tonight, we are going to be using our favorite raptor, Blue, because of her, ex her um, extreme empathy toward guests. She's a little, uh, she's a little feistier than normal. <laughs> that should be fine. This is going to be the chance of a lifetime, okay? Uh, but we are dealing with wild animals, so no sudden movements. And uh, for your safety, please do not approach the Velociraptor. I have been told that if you guys follow that very important safety rule, though, uh, we should all be safe. <laughs> um, that being said, you guys are in great hands, okay? Nothing to worry about. I've been doing this a long time. Trust me. we got every, everything under control. <laughs> so good. Very excited to get out of here and meet everybody. This is going to be fantastic. Vetex, we're ready. Volunteers, are we ready? ready? Open the gates. Aizami, good girl. Nope. Aizami, blue. Hold. Aizami, hey. That's more like it. There she is. All right, now, calm down, calm down. And we're moving. Good. Good job, girl. Okay, so she is being a little disobedient, but uh, she seems to be responding to voice commands mid movement, so uh, we should be fine. <laughs> uh, let's have our first volunteers. You guys read the fine print in the waivers you signed, yeah? Perfect. She wants Blue to get closer. How close do you want Blue to get? Closer than that? Closer than that? Yeah. Like make kissy noises. Try and get her to come close. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. How close do you want her to get? Yeah. Get her real close. <laughs> Was that exciting? Yeah. You're lucky you have all of your limbs. <laughs> Guys, we want to be careful about maintaining a safe distance around this predator. Okay? This is an apex predator. Now I allowed them to do that up at the top because I wanted to set the stage for what we have here. This is a three-year-old juvenile. You want a high five? I can't get over there. You got a question? You what? Can you have a bite? What do you mean? I'm hungry. Can I have a bite? Can you have a bite? I don't know what that means. Oh! Back it up. Can you have a bite? Describe to me what you want. You're holding something up, but I can't see what it is. It's a spoon. Oh, well you have a spoon. I'm not going to allow you to eat the Velociraptor if that's what you're asking for. Trust me when I say that you put that spoon toward her, she's going to eat you quicker than you can eat her. It's okay, it's just water. Just water. Mostly. I guess it depends what's in there. The Mosasaur is not there. She's in the... Are you pushing her toward the predator to protect yourself? You are. It's okay. You guys need to figure that out on your own time. Not only are we watching the dinosaurs in this area, we're also watching you guys. It's important to understand where these animals come from and where we come from. That's what this is all about, socialization. Can the dinosaurs coexist with us? Can we coexist with the dinosaurs? And maybe, just maybe, can we coexist with each other? How many of you guys are there? Seven, okay. You get much closer than that, you're gonna be eight. She seems to be favoring this side. That's what I want to see. Waving. Smiles. No intimidation. 
Isn't it crazy to hear all that screaming? I don't know what's worse. The human screaming or the dinosaurs screaming? The human screaming are screams of delight. It's a little easier. The raptor screams.